the main living room. Sofas for goodness knows how many. Massive TV. Swinging chair and Peloton bike for those people who might want such strange things. Amazing views from the front of the ship. That's the MSC Virtuosa in dock at the moment. And there's a nice little rocking area. And a massive dining room table with seat six. I'm sure we could get an extra chair or two and make it seat eight. And going this way through into the main bedroom. And that is the view from the bed. The curtains are all automatic. You press a button and they open and close. There's a vanity unit, which lifts up and the little jewellery box is inside and all the plug sockets. And another little seating area behind the curtains. The bed itself all of the controls for the curtains and things like that are all controlled from um, back here in the lights. And you can control the television and the um, television flaps down from out of the ceiling. I haven't quite worked out where you press, but it does. I've seen videos of it. And there is a loads and loads and loads of storage. All soft clothes and more wardrobes. The ubiquitous safe and all of these storage spaces for a dozen people. More than you could possibly ever want, but they're there. And then the bathroom. Beautiful panel glass doors and the bath to kill all baths. A separate shower unit with monster rainhead shower and all the ones you might want. on each side so you can see on into infinity and beyond and a matching bidet in loo with a phone never understood why so we always put phones in the loos and back to the living room and the second bedroom, its own separate little corridor, complete with its own private loo, massive sink, and another rain rainfall shower with wands, etc. Just as you, as good as anything you're likely to get at home. And then, following the cor corridor down, there's a little vanity unit with shelves and storage for the second bedroom. Your robes and more hanging storage and safe and drawers. All these fabulous soft closes. And then into the second bedroom, which is completely self-contained. Uh, lovely little lighting features. And 
as with all of the bedrooms, there are USBs by the beds, more drawers, and another massive great vanity unit with more plug sockets and a curtain that closes but also gives you a view down the side of the ship and if you look very carefully you can wave down there to the captain. Now out of the second bedroom and onto the balcony. Now the balcony doors open. This is forward facing so you can see everything in front of the ship. There's a lovely little dining table with seats for. Really comfortable looking lounges with little tables. Full size jacuzzi. Hot tub, which I am looking forward to using. And in case you're feeling a little bit tired, you can always rest in some shade. Or use one of the lounges. The views from the balcony extend all the way around the ship. You can be seen from the balconies of the other cabins, but only partly because once you get past this point, it's then obscured. So from the balcony, one more very important little bit to explore. The best bit of all of this. Hello. There's a, an area off to the side here with yet again even more storage and your bar setup. Um, I haven't got all my luggage yet so the cocktail kit isn't out yet but it will be coming. There is a little what they call the butler's pantry with a wine cooler fridge, coffee maker, with coffees and we have one of these machines at home and we've, we've got so addicted to it the Lavas machines are gorgeous and a full-size fridge which is all slot complete with a freezer which is a bit frosted up at the moment but useful if you want to make your own ice or keep your ice and a butler's door so you can butler can bring stuff in and that key also works with your key. That is the most incredible iconic suite on the starboard side aboard Celebrity Apex and I'm going to enjoy this week. <laughs>